Alright guys, so I wanted to quickly go over uh, the breakout communication drill with you guys. So, we'll do that now. Alright, so for the breakout communication drill, uh, there's a couple things that the breakout communication drill is designed to work on. That's going to be your off the break shots and your laning. It's going to be your running and shooting as you run to different bunkers, shooting at your opponent, looking for shots that way. It's going to work on your field awareness as you uh, are able, that breakout has a lot of stuff that happens, so it gives you the ability to look for five other people, uh, keep your eyes downfield and really see what's going on off the break and take that in without being in a tournament setting or a game setting or when you get eliminated, you know, you lose that, that opportunity. So that's uh, going to work on your communication. It'll work on your endurance because we highly encourage you to jog. Not only are you going to want to, you know, break out like you normally would, which takes some, some energy there, but also we ask that when the drill ends, you jog back to your next position so we can get started and get as many reps as possible. Uh, as you can see here, repetition is the key to all learning, guys. Like, so the more you get in, the more your muscle memory is going to form and everything else. So it's also going to allow you to take risk off the break so you can see what works and what does not work. So you can make those mistakes during practice as opposed to during the event. Uh, for the setup of the drill, uh, it'll be on a full-size field. We're going to have five players on each side of the field, just like a regular game. Uh, essentially, there's five spots on each side. You have the, back, the, the, the left side back player, the left side front player, the back center, the right side front player, and the right side back player. So for each position, you're not stuck going to the same bunker each time. Uh, you're playing that position in general, right? So let's say you start as, uh, for an example here, you start as the back left player. So what's going to happen is you maybe may break out to the corner. You may break out to uh, you know a support support style bunker, so like a thirty, like either a Seattle or a Dallas. So you can get your gun up shooting. You know, in a game scenario, you may do that, so you can get a gun up and then fill out to the corner. Uh, you may stay in the back center, doubling that up, so you can get a lane, uh, or just really any any bunker to support your front player, so you can get a shot off the break. So uh, the key is is that you communicate with your other players so you don't end up getting tangled up or in the same bunker during the drill. So the game will start with a standard five second silent start. Uh, once it starts, you'll break out like normal, shooting and talking until you get to your bunker. Once you get to your bunker, you just stop shooting and start communicating with your team. Uh, the goal is to communicate where all five players from the other team are, including the eliminations. So if you eliminated one of them, make sure you include that. Uh, along with any other players that you may have lost. So you'll call it where all the opponents are that you know of, uh, and then you'll call it any players that you lost. So maybe 0-1 Danny, 0-2 Dusty, whatever it ends up being that way. So uh, please keep in mind that you're looking that what you're looking for, you're looking for the opponent on the way to your bunker. So once you're in your bunker, you get there and you're gonna communicate with the other team. You're gonna stop shooting and communicate with the rest of your team. You're not looking around for the other team. So don't run to like say the corner, and the minute you get there, yell out, you know, uh, the three or the one, whatever it is, and then start looking around for people, you're communicating with your team. So if I run to my bunker and I know it's the three, I'm gonna look back to my teammates and let them know, hey, it's the three. And they may say, oh, there's a Dallas. So I'm gonna say, okay, three Dallas. And we're all gonna keep adding on like that um, so we can figure out where everyone is. If we only end up knowing where two or three or four of the other team is, that's completely fine. Once we've gotten all that information, then we're gonna jog back to the start station. So. Once your team, all your teammates have said everything that you guys know, regardless of whether it's one, two, three, four people, uh, then you, again, you're gonna jog back to the start station to the next position, which we'll go over in a second, so that we can quickly start again. Uh, as far as rotating, you always rotate to your right. So if you're looking across the field, like let's say uh, I'm on, the, the snake's like on my, on, the, on my left when I'm standing at the start station and I started in that, that back left position, I'm now gonna become the, uh, like front player, the front left side player. Then after the next set, I'm gonna become the back center player, then I'm gonna become the right side front player, then I'm gonna become the right side back player, then I'm gonna rotate off and get on the field. So if we pull up a field map here. If I started out you know, on the snake side here of the field as that back guy, I may break out to the corner of the first one, communicate when the drill ends and we've all set it, I'm gonna run back, and now I'm gonna become that 30 player. So I may go to the snake, or excuse me, the front player. I may, may go to the snake, gateway, god, who knows? I could even go up the middle to the cobra, the ghetto, whatever, but I'd be putting that 30 player, front player, and uh, once the drill ends, and I'm gonna go back and be the back center. That set ends, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna be the front player for the D side. That set ends, I'm gonna come back and be the corner player or the back player for that side. Then I'm gonna rotate off the field. So what'll happen is on each side of the field here, on this side uh, and on the snake side, 
is if we have enough bodies, we'll end up with a, a line that happens here. So once you've gone to like this corner, next you're gonna get in line, okay? Uh, once you get to the front of the line, you're gonna rotate onto the other side of the field where the same thing's happening. So this player is gonna be the back player, the next guy is gonna be the kind of the front player, we have our back center player, front snake guy, back snake guy. Once you've gone through those five spots rotating to your right, you'll then get in line on the snake side. If we don't end up having a line, the uh, farthest right player on each side, so the snake side on this, this close side, or the Dorito corner on the, uh, or Dorito back player on the other side of the field is gonna jog over to the other side. So we should have plenty of people that have lines, but that's kind of how it works. So if you align with people on the field, drill will happen, we get to our bunkers, communicate. Once everyone on your side has said everything you guys know, the jog back to the start station so we can start the next set, okay? So that's how the rotation works. Again, please jog. Uh, and also, the, the key here, repetition is the key to all learning. So you want to get do as many reps as you can. You want to hustle up so you get as many reps as possible. You will mentally stumble along the way. Uh, your brain, ha brain has to wrap itself around how to communicate. It's a mental burden to be able to effectively say what you know, hear from others, and then to get your brain to output the information along without dropping any of it. That's why we are training. So. Again, just do your best to stumble your way through it, and as you do more and more, you get better and better. So, that is how that drill works. All right, guys, so that's the breakout and communication drill. It's a super effective drill if you do it properly, especially if you push yourself and rush a little bit. You will find yourself mentally stumbling the first couple times, but let me tell you, it will help you get to the uh, pro level of communication if you uh, effectively do this each week. So, we'll see you guys out there.